Um, so we left. No, I guess we were in the process of raising our money at that time and went all the way to the East Coast and around and, and raised our money. Well, we came back on the 11th of Jan January because we flew on Bruce's birthday, which was the 12th of January. Um, it was sloppy, snowy, wet, nasty in Chicago. That's very important to me. So we got on the plane, went to Paris or someplace on the airport, and then on to Nairobi, and walked out, and here's the soldiers with machine guns. That was a real welcoming <laughs> sign at the airport. But the other thing was the Bougainvillea. I mean, it was summer there. It was gorgeous. And Jim Campbell picked us up and drove us to Kawangwari. I had no idea what this place was going to be. No idea whatsoever. Just, I, I just didn't know. And what it was was an urban slum with tin shacks and um, a few big buildings and a lot of bars and uh, little shops. But I remember walking up the hill to the uh, house where we were staying. And I always thought I was tall. But when I encountered Linda Barnes, Leela Campbell, Sue Oberg, all of whom were six foot plus, I thought, oh my gosh, I'm just short. But then there was Kay Hayes, and she was shorter than I was, so <laughs> it was okay. Anyway, Linda decided, uh, assigned me to um, purchase food. She was tired of it. She wasn't going to do it anymore. I didn't even know what a shelling was, let alone how to buy food for this crowd. But anyway, I went down to the Duca, the shop down the way in the market. And I was standing there. I don't even remember what I went to buy. Something. All of a sudden, I felt this something on the back of my leg. And I turned around, and it was one of the old mamas. She had never felt anybody's skin that was white. And she was just rubbing my leg. <laughs> she wanted to feel what that white skin felt like. Anyway, that was a little bit of a shock, but it was fine. Um, and so that's what I remember getting there and meeting people and being nervous about purchasing food.